All right. So this let's is go a back. real, yeah, go back. This is a real juicy part because this is a real good mm -hmm. teaching experience. Mm -hmm. So ask that question again, Terry. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I asked it, but I, I was just saying, is this, is this like chaos? Is this, is this, this whole thing is like, like things are just going everywhere. So I'm trying to make meaning because I'm a Sag and I'm always trying to make meaning. So, um, so it's like, it's like this and a that and a this. So I'm just saying, is this chaos? Because I've been trying to really get those five dynamics and, you know, and really like experiencing them, um, like in my body. And so, and so then <laughs> Renee is describing about what she does in the river. Like, forget the bridge. She was already sloshing through the water. It was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. <laughs> so great teaching moments. <laughs> to and me, then, I like. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's, it's the uh, like, yeah, there's chaos, but the more ideas are thrown in a pot, something sticks. Something is, uh, it, it, everything infuses together and something um, better or different, you know, yeah. is, is made. Um, and then the, it's following an idea or like, being taken that's how I, is a, it might be chaotic but it's it's letting kind of like the energy run run where it wants to go and yeah. and follow it following where it leads yeah follow where it leads and we get to see our resistance in it too like for you you want to you're it's like really like you're not you know it's like this if you talk to somebody like Asandra, who's been teaching the same work for 40 years, you know, some of the people who've watched the podcast say, I disrupt her. Like, so she's going along with this train of thought she's had for 40 years, and this is how I've taught it, and this is how I've done it. And I come in and I'm like a wind blast, and I, I and it's like, oh, I never, I never looked at it that way. Yeah. You yeah. know, and so well, that's you're... what a, a chaos catalyst does. Oh, well, you, yeah, you're windy. You're, mm -hmm. you're, you're windy. <laughs> it's just wind. It's just, there isn't anything to follow. It's like being with the wind and it goes this way and that way. And, you know, <laughs> I always get to well, somewhere though. Doesn't it? Yeah. I just, yeah. The, the schedule there. Um, it's, uh, and, and so, yeah. So then when, so you had, so you led a journey and I'll just say this out loud since we're recording it in case we want to use this part of this, I can take this and let people know how we're planning this retreat for, for Saturday <laughs> is that we're, we're planning it in the whole dynamics of uh, creativity anyway, where we all bring our stylized method to it. And when the leader is chaotic, so when I go, even when I go to listen to a journey that you made, I'm there like, oh. Oh, she wants me to walk over the bridge. Well, I'm already sloshing in the pond. All right, well, so we're not going over the bridge. And then on the way back, I did try to walk over the bridge because I didn't want to get wet again. But then, you know, we get to the abyss and I'm there like, oh no, no, that's not what my abyss looks, looks like at all. It's like, and it's all like, it's all there. And what am I going to pull? And, you know, and I'm trying to pull something back that I haven't had, that I haven't used in a while or that's been gone for a while. And you know, and it wasn't such a nice, tidy, little, neat package for me. <laughs> it, I got a whole sack of things, you know, and then I was dropping them along the way on the way home. <laughs> you had a sack and you were dropping them. <laughs> I was screaming, Mom. I was like, <laughs> I thought I, I was like the fairy doing angel dust on the way home. <laughs> it's like it's like little red riding hood, you know, in the basket. And she as she's bumping along, things are, you know, falling out. And then it's like at the end, it's whatever ended up not falling out. Right. Yeah, there you go. And then so then so then at the end of that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to blow the wind whistle and blow us what we have left or what you know what came back and bridget got a whole other experience so she could tell us about that. i'm gonna go then mm. 
<laughs> no. And Oof. you know what just happened? For me, it was all swirling around. I had to collect up everything. I left all the way between up there and all the way back here. And so there might be other people who've got it ne neatly tight and they're going to carry it home. But so this might be a really good teaching experience for us <coughs> where how did you go to the abyss? How did you even go there to get that retrieval of that part back for yourself? There's a lot of juice. There's a lot of creative juice here. Yeah. A lot of creative wins. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so care. So the, the, the part that we're still stuck on is my part, which I haven't done yet, but I, I have slides and I've got to rework them back in, um, and, you know, in, 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 so Carrie, like, so one of, I mean, so to get, so your work is to get people to pick a question for the class. One of those, one of the ones that we're suggesting or another one, but they could maybe how to give them a journal exercise to get there with a little meditation that goes with it. That's not rattling, but a, a different kind of thing. Maybe since you won't sing and dance and. Um, ah! <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that one for you i'm going um, to you know that i'm going to start it with that because i'm stuck on i'm stuck on that face and then we'll laugh it in it's lion's breath is what it's called yeah um okay. but you know you were you were talking i mean i'm just throwing this out there you were talking about hand mudras right um as well well you were calling them something different you were saying shamanic poses with them yeah, well, you were calling oh. them sh shamanic poses, um, but shamanic like, class. I know them as like hand mudras, which are energetic. Um, I could choose one for each one of those questions, and oh, that's a good idea. It's something, and you have to hold the energy. In which one? So you're sitting. Best? you're sitting with each question and while they're holding the mudra i can um kind of like repeat the question or poke into the question a little bit i like that and then and then uh well, how many questions are there well i did five? five in there but you could review them and think if they're not good questions there's five okay so then that you know five with like how, how much time like do you want me to do like three minutes on each question or two minutes on each question? Uh, and like, I think it's good to give them writing time for, to get to right. the questions and maybe where you're poking the pig is where you could say like, you know, look at how I create, I was already designing, <laughs> designing the house that I hadn't even bought yet. Right. Yes. <laughs> but what happens when I don't get my creation? I say, what happens oh, then? Ooh, write I, that down. What I happens when, okay. I flattened out. I thought, well, what's the use? Which is one of my fallbacks. And I thought to myself, well, what good was taking that money in wealth class? I didn't get what I wanted. Instead of, you know, like I just go right for the juggler. Well, God, you didn't give me what I wanted this time. So, you know, so, but just think about how often we do that when we try to create something, we don't get what we want. I think that the, the response when we don't get what we want is almost as telltale as what we get, how great we, I mean, I can dream all day. My boss, new boss thinks, what do you just wake up with a hundred ideas every day? I'm there. Yeah, I do. He says, well, my mother used to say, you wake up with a thousand ideas every day and one of them is good. <laughs> and so like, better than <laughs> Better so, than saying all of them are bad. <laughs> well, it was my mother. Whoops, I better not say that in case she hears this on the internet. <laughs> Who's going to read that book, Renee? <laughs> oh, that's all what right. she said? Who's going to read that book? Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's interesting. So, so there are energetic <laughs> hand gestures, and like they, some of them are grounding. Some are uplifting. I can try to pick one to fit with each question and uh, demonstrate it, talk them through it, sit with it for like a minute and then write. Uh, or you want me to go through them all and then they write. Writing in between each, 
take a minute to write in between each question and then at the end writing to pick one for the day well yeah but the thing is 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 these questions are the one they're going to get to so these yeah. these are the questions that they're going to hold so the yep. other questions you want to ask people is how do i create What's, you know, what was my grandest creation? What was, what creation really failed me? And how did I respond when I didn't get what I wanted? So get them to a point of like, even for, let's just pick a, pick a season. So let's go, I think this is where we started. Let's, let's go back to this. For 2020, what did I have when I got into January and I, you know, planted my seeds this spring? Well, was I planting? And what happened in 2020? Did I, I make these creations come to fruition? Are, are these creations growing corn now? Or did they get totally disrupted by the wind storm, the east, the eastern seaboard windstorm? So kind of a couple of probing questions there. And so then then go over to our creativity questions. So we've come up with five questions that we think you would want with that one of these questions you're going to hold for the fall. This is, it's yeah. you're not going to answer this question today. You're going to define which of these questions really resonates with you to hold for the, you know, for the harvest season. Yeah. And um, so then when are you going into the dynamics? after this and then uh what are we uh, like we had talked about choosing a dynamic and uh, are we still doing that well what we're going to do is then after after we do my talk you so we do the opening which is about 45 minutes then you do this piece in this writing exercise and then we're going to put some movement in between that and be, before we do the journey oh remember one of the questions uh was what creative pursuit fed your soul? What sucked you dry? What was the creative impetus? You know, you can come up with, well, how did I respond when I don't get my creation? These are all good writing points. And then- Yeah, we'll get, I, yeah I, can, I can work with that. Okay, and then we'll do some movement. And because we're going to be pretty, we're going to be pretty a little bit wrought out here, right? Because then they're going to have to listen to me go on about what are the dynamics and how, how do they manifest in the light and how do they manifest in the shadow of our creations, which will resonate with what don't I get when, when, when I, I'm great on the chaos, but when it flattens down and I sprinkle all my parts all, all the way home, you know, what is left for me to, to, to harvest. Look what I wrote here. I was trying, just brainstorming. It says, out of the shadows, we create our lives. And that, that was, some, and I was, didn't even know what that, I just, it was just because I was just writing what was coming. And you just said, out of the shadows, something. I forget what you said. Out of the shadows comes out creations or something like that. Yeah, well, anyway, they, it just reminded me because I, I had written that. <laughs> That's great. <clears throat> All right, then we're gonna go. We're gonna right, do some move. movement. Okay. okay. We have to take a potty break in there somewhere. Um, Fifteen minute break, and then we're gonna go into the uh, the the creative soul retrieval. After the movement. After the movement, then we'll quiet everyone back down and go on a journey. And boy, your owl is great. Let me tell you. Thank you. Wow. Did you get her owl? Did her owl come see you, Bridget? Well, it's funny because I just met one of my helping spirits who is a great horned owl. So. Oh, my <laughs> so bear. My, yeah. Couldn't, it wasn't going to be the bear and the owl going on this journey. So the bear went up the stairs as high as he could and then let the owl and I go on the journey. So, mm. so it was kind of, I went with your owl and, and that was, your owl was really cool. And yeah. so then we go on the journey and then we come back and then I'm going to blow in the soul part that we yeah. got or the creative soul part with the wind whistle.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to, we're just going to come in and describe how to do the earth mandala to then take and reflect that question that we got from Carrie, the, the creative soul part that came back with Terry, Terry and Carrie, and then we're going to go outside and we're going to put that into the earth or put that in your living room if you can't go outside for some reason. And then, uh, then when you're ready, we'll come back and we'll have a, I'm going to share this as a, um, a teaching moment on, online, Carrie, I'm going to go take it live. And then um, we will uh, then we'll have a, like 30 minutes or, or however long you come back to network with other people and, and you know, have that moment of togetherness. And then we're going to come back and because it looks like it's going to be a relatively smaller group, you're going to go into your groups and really hone out with people how, how they create. What is their primary dynamic? What did they learn about? What part came back? What did they learn about uh, why it left maybe? And really have, it looks like, because it'll be a smaller group and, and it looks like it's kind of, it's not, it's not looking like a real beginner's group it looks like it's a group of people who have done a lot of shamanic work, but that doesn't mean that we won't have some beginners and beginners are sure welcome. Um, that to really dive into how these dynamics show up in their life, how they've been useful for creation in this 2020, you know, what we're harvesting out of the garden and what might be a better cooperating wind dynamic to work with as we harvest. So maybe we create it all with chaos or we create it all with gestation or we create it all with process order or oppositional forces or partnered with nature this whole year. You know, I went with the flow with nature. I stayed in, I did all of this, but right now I have to harvest what's left out in the garden. Would I be better to toss it all up into the to the uh, to the wind like Renee does and let it all settle out where it's going to? Or would it be really smart for me to move through this creation in a very process order kind of way? Or might I just see that it's fall and I could take those few things left and throw them in my silo and maybe plant a second garden for this year? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you like that idea? Mm -hmm. And so that way you really, people will get about 10 or 15 minutes to really work with each other on this. You know, that it, and then we'll come back and have a closing. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> little process order here. Uh, when does, when, when in this somehow I, I had you talking about the dynamics early on, but then I erased you. Now I don't have you in there. Where does that come? Is that before the soul retrieval? Right. Yes. So right okay. before, so what we have is, um, uh, right before, so we, we start out with a, a housekeeping, how, you know, what this is all about. Then we go into the writing exercise, the movement exercise. Maybe I'll do the, the movement exercise after the writing exercise instead. And then I'll do the talk, give everyone a break for a couple minutes to come back. Then we'll do the creative soul retrieval. Then we do the earth mandala, which is time in nature. and then uh, group networking for a little bit. And then we break out into our small groups to do some really soul searching about, about this. And then, um, then we come back, do a, really make sure that everyone leaves with their question for the fall. So they know what question's going to be informing their harvest.
how does that suit your process order mind? Uh, it uh, went into chaos. Um, I've so I have I don't really know what's happening, but I got the end, so that's important. <laughs> I think it's good to do the movement after after the writing. Yeah, I think the writing and then the movement. Do you want to lead the movement too or no? I know you're having a yoga retreat. <laughs> a yoga pause. Oh, I thought the I thought the movement uh, was gonna was uh, the break, but you're talking about movement exercise, so that's fine. Well, we can come up with I uh, mean, you know. a little dance or a little, you know. Yeah, dance break. Yeah, that's good. Well, what about unwinding? You can lead them. What? What about an unwinding? An unwinding that, dance break? Well, right, because the writing is going to stir up a lot, and we want them to not be like all, ooh, so even though they're moving, like, you know, that unwinding process that you have for the wind, um, wind baths is really helpful oh okay yeah that's good so that's how we could start it we could start with the unwinding in, a, in a, a dance break to get people moving back into their bodies with this i like this mm -hmm. yeah and it kind of shakes them up like um you know breaks down some barriers to be like <clears throat> energetically if you're holding anything like doing that kind of movement before we go into the talk and um, that's a that'll be that'll be great. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and then you know, I mean, because really, if people really want to go deeper into their dynamics, you know, maybe next year we we I don't know, I haven't quite figured it out, but we could. That kind of is part of the five week wind mastery program that I have to decide whether we're going to do it that way or if we're going to, you know, I can't make a decision. I have a, a thought for you. <laughs> oh, oh, she's thinking for me again. <laughs> you're so lucky. <laughs> I am. <laughs> what about you're talking often lately about mm -hmm. having apprenticeship programs and having people teach the winds. Right. Yes. What about doing a six month online apprenticeship program? Okay. What's it look like? Well, it looks like doing the basics. Okay. Then doing the program of where we're do really getting into a lot of the, the wind practices. Okay. Right. And then when you have those steady under your belt and you understand your spin axis and can stay anchored or tethered, I like to use better. Um, you know, then you move into the double tethering, right? And then you start teaching them the dynamics of creativity because okay. they really need that double anchor to be able to move through these different dynamics. But those dynamics are a month each. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you're really going to, you could do it as a 12 month program and intensive. Yeah, 12 month, 12 month program. You know? I, I, I just think Renee, that instead of exhausting your resources because chaos brings a lot of energy and then it peters and then a lot of energy and it peters right this would give you that sustaining power because every month you get to bring all that juice but then you know the people aren't leaving you don't have to right. bring more energy to go to a whole new class build right okay. yeah that's true and the investment is up front right. so if you when you when you buy your house you can focus on renovating it. The money's going to keep coming in, right? Uh -huh. And you can do the program. Uh -huh. So that's my suggestion is to uh, use the end of this year to really get your teacher training program in order. It's time. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to help me with that? I'll help yeah, you. Yeah, uh, that, that, that's a, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I can listen to that because you guys are not chaos creators like me who can create a new idea for a class every single day which is great and that's exactly what you should be doing and having a terrarium for all of that beautiful energy terrarium. to keep feeding this work forward okay i can do that that sounds like a plan because it goes in alignment with what i want to do anyway Maybe I break it into two six month sections. Cause what if, you know, what, all right, well, let's talk about that more. All right. So if you've been listening in, this is how we create a class. And this is this great retreat that we're 
creating for you this weekend. And we really want to invite you to join us because one thing we know is that I may be windy and I have these awesome, Carrie, where are you? I'm doing a little chaos right now. That's all right. You get probably dinner ready and because, and, and, you know, and it's just like an awesome team of people. And, you know, there's several other people have told me they want to teach the wind work, yeah. you know, that they want to include it because they've seen what it's done in their life. So it's I'm, already done. The program is already done. You did yeah, the, the yeah. um, community university. I know it's already set. It, exactly. Yep. Although I may go to Teachable or something that's easier for people to access because it's a little tricky the first till you get logged in and either that or I have to have somebody handhold everyone through the, the login process because that part's a little <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're good and I will see all of you um, Saturday. The course starts at 8, so hope you know you guys can come. A few minutes. So that'll be 11 a.m. Eastern, correct? Yeah, 11 a.m. Okay. Yeah, 11 a.m. Yeah. Eastern. Yep. And it will go approximately until um, a little bit before three is what we ended last time. So I guess assume, which is what, six for you? Yeah. What time? Do we, okay, perfectly. Yeah. All right. So, hey, everyone, I hope this intrigued you and you laughed and thought that this is a group of people you want to hang out with all day on Saturday. <laughs> and we have a lot of fun. Right? Oh, yes. Very. And it's life changing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's going to be trans. Yeah. Transformative. <laughs> Very. Bridget, yeah. you're already getting requests Especially. of people who say, I want to work in Bridget's pod. Aww. I like her. <laughs> I'm like, That's so sweet. What am I, top liver? <laughs> <laughs> it's because I go over the time. <laughs> oh, I know. I was like, where are you? All we right. Like well, so we'll, see, we'll see everyone on Saturday, and we hope you, you listen to this, and it's worthwhile to listen to this to see where we're going and how we got there. Exactly. All right. Exactly. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.